It's useful to be able to easily move shots to adjust depth and presentation. Non-toxic shots are quite hard and have a reputation of damaging the line. After much trial and error, I found an old method I used to use with less shots, which works well with modern non-toxic split shot. Please be aware, I only use monofilament line and hook links. Assume the method I'm about to describe does not work with other types of fishing line. I believe fishing line is most damaged when shots are first squeezed on. The line inside the shot is flattened, causing a weak spot. My method is to add the shot at the end of the line, then slide them along the line away from the flattened weak spot. But the problem with non-toxic shot is that they don't want to slide. The solution is to close the shot tightly and completely down on the line with pincers or pliers. Then forcibly slide the shot back and forth over the flattened section. As the shot bumps between the flat spot and the full thickness line, it's open slightly and the inside of the split becomes burnished. After a few passes, the shot opens enough to slide, yet retains a good grip on the line. On occasions, the shot's grip may be too much. Just tease them open slightly with an edge. Once the float locking shot and any additional shot are on the line, cut off and safely dispose of the damaged end. I have used this method on monofilament lines from 2.5 pound, 0.16 mm, to 4.5 pound, 0.20 mm, with non toxic double shots from size 6 up to swan shot. On lighter lines and hook links, I'll either use standard micro shots or stots. Stots are designed not to damage the line. Pick up and gently close them with a stotter tool. I find that they do so little damage to the line that I feel safe to use them directly on a hook link. If I want to use micro shot, usually number 8s or 10s, I try to always put them on using the same method as a non-toxic shot. I've only used this method with monofilament fishing line because that's what I use for my float fishing. So please don't assume it works with anything else. Thanks for watching and best of luck.